Welcome back, everyone, to another episode here on Squad. I believe this is like episode six. I'm really not sure. I'm so lost. But we are back here, and some of you may know what this is right here, and some of you may not, but that is totally okay if you don't, because I will run you through it, what it is exactly. But I hope everyone has been doing fantastic. Uh, we are back here on the Squad server, like I said, and yeah we are having a blast so uh this right here is a creeper farm that is right i'm trying my best to make a little creeper farm to get some more uh, gunpowder um sporky needs some rockets he's tired of spending money uh and so i told him hey i'm gonna try my best and get us a creeper farm um so i went ahead and off camera obviously built all of this up and if you want um if you want to know how to make this, I will link the video in the description and a card should pop up right now. It's from Waddles. It is not my design. Do want to do not want to take credit for this at all because this is all my boy Waddles. Um, so, he, yeah, this is his design. Um, it should be pretty quick and pretty simple to do, but I'm going to finish it up. So here's one layer right down there. Um, that's completely done except for adding a snow golem into there. I need to add a snow golem into here. I'm going to put one more layer on top of this. And then or I'm going to put a floor on this. I'm going to put one more layer and then I'm going to put a roof on top of that. It's going to be three layers. That's all I need. Um, and got carpets here so spiders don't spawn. And if we go actually a floor below. Nope, I missed that. Um, if we go up here. Obviously, if you guys have played Minecraft for a while and if you have ever made a creeper farm, you know trapdoors right here they are vital to uh make this work because creepers are actually smaller than the rest of the mob smaller than a zombie smaller than a skeleton and like i said the carpets will stop the spiders from spawning because they don't have a two by two area anywhere on here to spawn um so yeah like i said i'm gonna go and uh, finish this uh this layer and then finish the top layer and then we will be back and see how well this creeper farm actually works So we got the creeper farm all finished up here, and uh, it's not the most efficient thing in the world, um, but we don't need the most efficient thing in the world, um, because it does depend on these snow golems to actually hit the creepers, and we know that's not going to happen. Um, but the uh, farm is working perfectly fine. Um, I will say make sure that you do have a looting three sword when you are swinging away. Um, I've been here about five minutes, and you can see we almost have two stacks of gunpowder. So uh, this will definitely suffice for what we need. Sporky can get his fill of rockets. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be perfectly fine. And I hope over time this will, um, what you call it, this will uh, age. That's the word, or weather. That will start to turn that green, the oxidized copper. That's the word, oxidized. Um and it should look uh, pretty cool. And so, yeah, I guess I could like set up like soul fire on these things. Whoa, <laughs> okay, do not get too close. Um, I could put soul fire like campfires on here and automate this, um, but you do lose out on a lot of gunpowder there if you're not using your, uh, your looting three sword. So, um, this is going to have to do, and Sporky can get his fix from up here uh, by swinging away. Um, 
he'll, he'll just have to make do. Uh, but for now, yeah, that project is done. And uh, let's move on to our next project over there. You guys can see our boats um, where mine is going to hopefully be here soon and where Sporky's is at. So actually, it's over this way. All right, now that I got my sword completely healed up, let's go over and check out the other project that we have for the day as Mr. Creeper comes. Do we get a creeper? We just got a creeper head. Let's go. I'm making a bridge here <laughs> of creeper head, enderman head. Um, we'll just keep adding on to it. But since we're up here, let's uh, throw this ender pearl and we'll get a little bit of a head start distance wise. Uh, we need to go this way. Um, but I made a little bit of progress. Um, let's see when the ender pearl lands. <laughs> this ender pearl is taking forever. Oh my gosh, where is the ender pearl? No, Clubby's faster than me. Ah, uh, hello, ender pearl. Ooh. Okay, whatever. We'll just jump down and start going this way but uh yeah made some progress let me get over there i thought the ender pearl would have landed and here we go here's our motel uh if you haven't seen sporky's video we kind of talked about this in sporky's video so go check that out uh working on the parking lot here making it overgrown and i guess hotel motel whatever you want to call it uh we at the hotel motel holiday inn um Pitbull, uh, Mr. 305. Um, but here's the parking lot. I got one handicap spot for Clubby, um, like we said, and everything like this. Um, but I got the main just shape of it put into. I got to put it uh, in the actual roof line. Um, and I'm going to put banners around that say, like, motel. And I hope to have, like, the pirate looking uh, banners. Um, the the ones that are shown right now i hope to have those like on both sides of like the word motel um at least i'm gonna try but we're gonna go in here and try to decorate this spot a little bit actually so let's um do this and let's do this and let's do that is that what i wanted to do no i wanted to do opposite i wanted to do like this and then get down below it go like this yeah I want that base there that's what I want and then like that and then we don't have any levers but I'll just make three real quick here and we'll do that and okay there we got a lamp actually I'm gonna put the lever on the actual bedside there we go and oops uh gave you guys a little bit of spoiler there uh and yeah we'll do that and we'll put like a painting up here but i'm gonna go and i'm gonna place these they're all the same they um they're the exact same uh like layout um for every single room kind of just like how a motel is uh where motel it really doesn't matter which one you get they're all the same um but i'm gonna do this um gotta put glass in here gonna do that real quick um i'll probably put some lanterns gotta put a railing in gotta put the roof line in um but yeah i'm gonna do that and then i will hop right back and i'll kind of show you guys some other things and while we're here let's go and place some banners up there as like little curtains and then obviously gotta have a door we'll do that um put a door put the block up there yeah and have those curtains up there and then boom and boom there we go um i don't have these hooked up yet um luckily i can go and reach it from the bottom there we go and and let's go ahead and give every room a little end table bedside thing storage there and then boom boom this is going to be like our entertainment center tv stand i gotta figure out how i want to do a little tv if that's just going to be like a painting if that's going to be what i don't know but we'll do that for all of these rooms just to make sure that they all look the same okay i really like how this looks at night i've got all the lamps turned on in there you can see each of them giving off their little glow and 
I like how the bushes are looking overgrown, the trees not looking too hot, but that's definitely what we need. Ooh, I heard you guys. These guys are super loud for no reason. Ooh, I missed one. Okay, there we go. Um, but it is looking very nice. I do need to put the uh, little banners on top that just say motel. I'm hoping I can figure out how to do the um, the letters. Ooh, I'm lagging like crazy. Um, hoping I can figure out how to do the letters. I will need to probably go to the nether and kill a lot of uh, wither skeletons um, to get the skulls to do the the skull and crossbone banner um, or maybe I can just buy them but we've got that done now I'm gonna go sleep and I'm gonna finish out this right here and then probably move now that we have that done let's go and show you some progress that's been made down here by Sporky and look at this floor this is an awesome casino floor that's right, if you guys haven't seen last episode, we are making an illegal casino. Don't tell Skylar. Don't tell her yet. This illegal casino down here. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what kind of games and what kind of things we want to have down here. But what I do want to have, and I kind of have stuff set up, um, and I'll kind of show you guys. Now, this won't be permanent, but just to kind of give you guys like an idea of what I want to do. Um, so we'll set this up here, um, and then, like, we'll put glass in front, um, so people can't, like, get back here and mess with it, you know? So we'll do this. Oh, we just got a vote party. Let's go. Um, <coughs> nope, I didn't want to do that. Let me get this. Fortunately, this is the only thing that I have right now that has silk touch on it, um, so we'll do that and kind of like you know and close this in and then um by the mysterious powers of being in the same room if clubby could actually tp to me um i don't know <coughs> oh gosh i still have a tickle cough guys i'm sorry um, Clubby, if you can hear me, TP to me. I'll try to show them how this works. See, same room. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll do this, and then Clubby, uh, go stand out here on the outside. And so now, this is kind of what I'm thinking. So, Clubby is going to be our little casino customer our little gambler he has a problem um and what we're going to do is we're going to have him send us he's going to pay us a thousand dollars a whole one thousand dollars i know it's not centered i just placed it down i don't want to hear it but clubby's going to send us a thousand dollars that's going to be his bet wait okay see ten thousand I think that was a mistype. I'll send him back 9,000. Uh, <laughs> play or pay Clubby 9,000. Okay, so he paid us 1,000. So if you look in here, we've got a 50 50 chance for him to win. That's the block of gold or the coal. So when I flick this, if he gets coal, he loses. I keep the $1,000. If I flick it and the gold block comes out, then he wins and he doubles because there's a 50 50 chance to do or it's essentially one to one odds and so he will get whatever he bet back plus his original bet so clubby you ready here we go and flick it oh cole oh he loses <laughs> and uh, i don't know what he's doing is he oh he's putting on some gambling music that's what he's doing <laughs> oh yeah Ooh. oh yeah pig step baby but I think that's a copyrighted uh, song so I'm not going to play that <laughs> too long <laughs> but uh, you can see so he just paid me another a thousand so he wants to go again 
So let's flick this and oh, Cole, that's two in a row that he's been losing. And see, you guys can see, I'm not, I'm not trying to rig this. I'm not trying to scam him out of this. He knows the odds here. Ooh, another a thousand. Okay, he's got a problem. And let's flick this and oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, so since he won that, so now we have to pay Clubby back two thousand dollars because he won that one so that is how this one is going to get ga yes gambling is only a problem when you lose that is not a true fact please if you guys do have a gambling problem uh, co co uh co contact the uh correct people uh get some help uh but that's what i'm thinking something like that i'm also thinking um like a big like roulette wheel you know, like a minecart goes around and doo -doo 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 -doo, and whatever it lands on, uh, you gotta place bets. I gotta figure out. For now, this casino is gonna be only operational when myself, Sporky, or Clubby is gonna be online, um, and we want to uh, gamble, uh, or we want to allow others to gamble. Um, but maybe sometime in the future, we will figure out how to kind of automate it. Um, maybe do like a you pay or you buy you know coins from a shop over you know one side and then you have to throw the coins in and it like the machine recognizes that that's the correct uh, currency you know something like that we'll uh we'll figure that out but uh thank you clubby uh for showing that off um so that's uh that's what we're gonna do and um not sure well, we definitely got to extend the floor, but not sure what we want to do with the walls or the ceiling up here yet. But, hey, progress is coming along, people. Also, something I think I want to do down here uh, while I, you know, remember, I just set this up. So, I want to put in redstone lamps um, over here on the side of the wall. And I kind of want to do some sort of, like, marquee lighting. So, I'm going to start that and pulse it a little bit. And it should, you know, you see, they'll just follow each other and they'll go all the way around. And then get to that one go down that one go that one and then just imagine it goes all the way around all the way around and then starts back up and they kind of chase each other or we could speed it up or kind of do like two little pulses and you see that they'll chase each other kind of kind of <laughs> something like that that's what we want to do um uh, this definitely isn't going to be the final location uh, for it at all, but I'll turn it on so nothing spawns in the back there. Uh, but something similar like that, just to wrap all the way around the walls to give this a little more ambiance. But now what I want to do, let's go to warp crates, um, and let's use these two keys that we got from our vote party that someone triggered. So let's start off with our common key. Um, remember, uh, this is what we can all get, under pearls. I want some more skulls, um, some trim, netherite upgrade, definitely not a bad thing here. Um, I was, more keys, that would be good. Um, not really sure what I would necessarily like, but let's uh, give it a shot here. And 16 raw iron blocks, that's okay, because I am running low on iron. And then uh, rare key, let's give this and... Totem of Undying, kind of useless because Clubby has a raid farm uh, that I steal stuff from. Um, but it's fine. Anything in here? Ooh, white bed. More levers. I'll take the levers. Um, I will need it. So, yeah. Uh, and before I wrap up this uh, episode, I figured I have to give you guys a little bit of an update on the boat here. Um, you can see I've got a decent chunk done. Um, still need some terracotta there. Obviously, you need to do all the mast here. And everything I still need to do that top actually let's go ahead and take that off yeah you guys can see now that's <laughs> that's what the boats looking like you know so let me get rid of the skew board uh, so here's the boat now where the boat needs to be yeah okay um, the what you got the list says that we are 53% done um we're not we're not I'd say we're probably 33% done um just with everything and 
So I have all this, and so this says that these blocks are extra because these weren't in the uh, Lightmatica when I saved the file out. These were, so that's why, you know, you don't do that. Um, and then these are just double planks instead of oak planks. And then, like, I need the stairs in here. Um, I need... Are, these are all right. I, like I said, I need to do that. I need to do all the cannons yet. I need to finish out the uh, terracotta. Um, the captain's quarter over here. Um, I kind of have done, but not really. And then I have the start of this done. Um, but you can see, like, this whole back, like, is even unfinished. Like, this has stuff over here. Um, but this back uh, never really got finished. Um, when I brought the light Matica file over from the... Uh, single player world so i like i said we're probably about 33 percent done um but that is okay um hopefully chloe will help out uh finish the other side because he did some of this design that i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> um believe it or not uh like this this is probably wrong um it just needs to be more that um yeah there, there's a decent amount that we need can do i started putting in i don't even know what this is called um, <clears throat> but I started putting in this with all the bone blocks and the, uh, quartz blocks. So, yeah, that's where we are at with the boat. Hopefully here soon, um, within the next couple of episodes, we will have this done. I try to work on it between episodes a little bit. Um, we can honestly set up a P-Warp now, uh, to get some shops in there. There's plenty of room to do the shops. Um, but I would like the boat to be at least a little bit more finished, at least to have it completely enclosed and um, have the top floor on as well. And then we can always add the mass later uh, when we do that. But I think that is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the um, creeper farm that we built, plus the motel, plus the uh, showing you guys the casino. Um, and obviously the boat update um but yeah that's pretty much it we're gonna just keep plugging away at the boat and hopefully you know maybe next episode i'll come in um and have it at least enclosed so we can uh set up that p-warp uh but if not i will definitely be working on the casino with sporky in between episodes and i know he said that he's gonna work on it too um so we can get that up and running and make some more money uh because i'm poor and i need to rank up uh what are we at like 13k yeah 13k and to rank up i think is like 50 or something yeah we're we're poor we need money so we need a shop set up a shop as soon as possible and we need to get that going but i should probably claim that land i haven't done that so i'll do that between episodes too but i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next episode here on squad 64. Peace.